Welcome to the Make and Design Podcast. I'm your host, Karina Gardner. On this podcast, we're unraveling the everyday joys and dilemmas of design, making, and business. For makers who want to be designers and for designers who are makers, this is your inside scoop to help you grow your business and bring more creativity to your life. Hey guys, Amanda Niederhauser is with me again today. I'm so excited to have her. I'm so excited that she like was willing to take the time because she's not from here. No, I was driving and I'm like, yeah, let's go to Karina's. <laughs> <laughs> and she just pulled over to the side of the road yeah. and showed up in my house. It yes. was like the best thing ever. And we both have flower dresses on. It's and true. That was look, not planned. Look at this, this magic. If you're magic on the and we have dark and we have dark yes. hair. If you're on the YouTube channel, you can see it. And I'm sorry, podcasters. It's okay. We look amazing if you can't see us. <laughs> <laughs> that laughing is a little sarcastic <laughs> on my, my end. Amanda looks amazing. Okay, so we're going to talk about design today, which it, it seems right that we're wearing florally situation. Yes, I love pattern. I never buy anything solid. Ever. Clothes, <gasps> shoes, all my shoes have flowers on Are them. Are you serious? I, I love design. Fabric. <laughs> I need to come to Amanda's house. Amanda's always, so I'm in Utah, I'm in Sandy, Utah, and she actually just came up from Alpine because she was down at Riley Blake, and you are in Utah because you have a daughter here? Mm -hmm. I have a daughter that goes to Utah State in Logan, Um, my husband's from Logan, so I was in St. George doing a quilt show and trunk show at Quilted Works, Um, and so I thought, well, Logan's only six more hours. Let's keep driving. So I mean, it's so reasonable. Yes. That seems like the reasonable thing to do. So, But if your daughter's six hours away, you just go. So anyway, so it's been fun, and I love to come in Utah because I can visit my friends at Riley Blake, and most of the designers live here, so I usually get to see somebody. There are a few of us here, right? Yes. No one's in California, but we have the beach. (laughs) And you can go for that. And you can come visit anytime. Okay, let's talk about design because you have a really interesting process because your daughter is mm-hmm. really involved in your design process, which I love. I think that's so cool. Yeah. So tell me how it all works. Okay, well, I can't draw to save my life. Even my stick figures are a hot mess. So how am I designing fabric? <laughs> I, I wish I had a pad. Well, oh. I have a pad of paper here. <laughs> so she really can design yes. us. We'll, we'll do that. Um... So, but I really know what I like and I can see it I ju- and I can quilt it. I feel like I'm a better quilt designer than I am like artist. And that's where you have your start is right. in the quilting. So, so you, know quilting, what, right. you know what. So I've been quilting and um, a fabric addict for about 22 years. So I feel like I've made a lot of quilts and bought a lot of fabric. So I know what I like and I know what I don't like. So my daughter is an art major at Utah State, and she's always been an artist, and she's so good. And so I know what I want for the fabric line. Like, I want it to look like this, and we want it to have these colors, and then I'll draw like a little doodle, and I'm like, okay, here you go. And then she'll do it, and we'll go back and forth, and we'll change things, and then Riley Blake will say, um, let's change this, and it's kind of this collaborative thing. But at the end of the day, she, it's her... Work. Actually, do that. Right. And, and we, is she bringing it into Illustrator for mm-hmm. you? Uh, no, we we use Photoshop. Oh, you guys are in Photoshop mm-hmm. because Illustrator is the most complicated thing to run. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and I we feel, do everything. Can with, we just have Ella come do design yes, suite should. so that oh. we can get you an Illustrator? It will make your fabric so much faster. It's not even funny. So, and everything she does is hand drawn. We don't do any like. So she has her tablet, and it's she's all, doing it. And she's doing an uh-huh. Apple Pen. Yeah, Apple Pen. And you guys, if you are my Design Suite program, you know I am like a big fan of the Apple Pen Mm -hmm. and the tablet. It will get you there so much faster, but you should be using Illustrator. And you should take Karina's class. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, that was like an aside. Really, we're talking about design. So, okay, I love that Ella is doing all this work for Mm -hmm. you, but here's the thing. I love... There is a yin and yang, right? Mm-hmm. Because she doesn't understand really how a quilt ought to be put together, right? Well, she does, because if you live in my oh, house, you okay. have to be able to make a quilt <laughs> from start to finish before you can graduate and be an adult. Okay, so, so I guess I'm she, wrong. <laughs> she has quilted. She's made a lot of quilts. She's cut a lot of fabric. She works at a fabric shop in Logan. She of works at she my does. girlfriend's quilt shop. Oh, she shop. works at my girlfriend's mm-hmm. quilt shop. Okay, she that's does. great. With, with Chris. Yes, so she okay. works there. And so she, fabric is a lot of her life. So she sees fabric all day. Like, I think she's such a good partner. Okay, so she, but she gets it. Right. But and so she, why, do you, why do you feel you're important? Why am I even here? Why are you? I have the cat. <laughs> Everyone wants to see the cat. Who needs you, Amanda? <laughs> no one needs to 
me. So, um, so what I bring to the table <laughs> is Amanda's very important. I am. I I like to design quilts, and I like, and I know what kind of fabric works for quilters. Just yesterday, Ellen and I were designing this new fabric line. And is this one that's coming out next spring? No, no, no this is like it. it's not even like, approved. So oh, okay, it's, okay, it's way out. Yeah. But we were designing this fabric, and it was a we had a white background up and a little design that formed that, that was in line. So it was like a linear little design, not stripes, but a motif set in stripes. And I was just like, this is so cute, but I would never use this in a quilt. It has a white background, it's linear, and it reads as a white, but it's striped. So I can't use this as a quilt background because it's the lines are going to be super funny. I'm not going to use it as a binding because I never bind in white because mm -hmm. that's just ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> and so this does not work in here. So instead of offering it as a white background, we just switched it to a solid, which is much easier for some reason to cut up and put in a quilt or use as a so binding. So you just changed the color. Yeah. What color did you change it to? So then we Even though we, ha we don't want to know what this fabric It's like. okay. So now there's three colorways. It's a navy background with a white line. It's a green background with a little bit light and then an orange background. Okay, I so like that. So That's it's, awesome. It's a solid. Yeah. Yeah. But it's super cute with the reverse, but there's nothing. I'm like, I would never sew with this. It is so true. It's so funny because I actually love the low volume look. Right. And every time I try to incorporate it into one of my lines, I get very frustrated because I find myself being like, but then I can't put these together right. and then I can't put this one together and I end up always throwing them all out. Yeah. In fact, in Ava Kate, which is my most recent line, I have one cream background mm -hmm. and all the rest of it. And usually I try to incorporate two or three and I just couldn't this time. Yeah. It just didn't work. Yeah. I love having a lot of low volume options in Scaredy Cat. I think we had three. We had bones, shapes, and then we had um, the little birds. But that was a Halloween line. Yeah. But they were all low volume and you could use, I love having those options as quilt backgrounds. But it doesn't work for every collection. Yeah, because I agree. It, just, it doesn't. It I think I have a ton of low volume things in my Halloween line as well. I just think it's easier because you want that black, black and white, white. Maybe contrast. That's what it is. That's my feeling about Halloween. But hey, if any of you guys know of great lines that have a lot of low volume but isn't low volume, okay, that's the tricky part, right? It's either like you're all there in low volume, right. or there's, or you're like. It's just kind of tough. Yeah. So it is. So I, when we're designing fabric, I'm always thinking, how is this going to make a quilt? So it's nice because I'll design the quilt as we're designing the fabric. And then I'm like, we need another, you know, scatter print in another shade of blue to make these quilts work. So let's get one of those. Or this one, I can't fit it in anywhere. So I think that's how Ella and I balance because I can like rein in the art and know how to make it into a quilt and yeah. how it and then I sew the quilts, and then I do all the marketing, and then she's just living her life, and I'm doing all the sweat work. Yeah, that's, <laughs> it's true. I'm peddling the patterns. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. Okay, so tell me this. Are you ever going to get to a point where it's hard to make a new cat? No. <laughs> so far, we've made one, two, three, four, five, six. Six different cats so far. Okay, so you're not afraid of more cats. No. Crazy cat lady. When, when are we going to see a line that's just pattern after Mufasa? That's Amanda's cat. Oh, oh the, we are maybe getting one. Okay. I love that. Top That'll secret. be so it's awesome. My, it's the cutest ever. Okay. Um, okay. Tell me about this. So I talk to my design students all the time about master fabrics, secondary fabrics, you know, third fabrics. What is your favorite fabric to design? To is, design. is it the master? Do you like the secondaries or the blenders? Like, what do you like? I am a super themey person, so I, of course, always love the theme prints. So the big master. Yeah. yeah. And, I and do you start with that? Usually. Because okay. it's like the where all the color pulls from and the sub-designs pull from. So I love to start with the big theme. And then... Kind of then just spin it in as many different directions. I love the brainstorming process, and that's I love just being creative. And we could do this, and what about this, and what about this, and that. I love that part of it. And do you spend a lot of time on the master? Um, let's see. This, yeah. Like it's, how long do you think it takes you? Um, the one we're working on now, it's it was pretty detailed, and there was a lot of there's a lot of artwork in it, so it took. It took Ella a couple days. <laughs> okay, yeah. So Ella was like really having yeah. to like really dig and in. And then, oh, and then with this one, she showed it to me and I was like, 
yeah, it's real. It's really good art. Like I can never make that, but it's not the look I'm going for. You need to change the little people in it um, because they looked her? too cartoony. But I needed to back it up and tell her how amazing it was first. More. That's a good parenting tip too, right? Always the praise and then. And then a little bit at the end. Yeah. Yes. But then she redid it, and she loves it so much more. And I'm like, yes, this is what we were going for. So was that hard? Uh, no. I think she maybe had her feelings hurt for a second. But okay. then when she redid it and saw how much better it was, I think that made up for it. Are you and Ella really close? Like, yeah. I mean, because, like, I'm hearing you, like, talk about it, and I'm like, yeah. dude, that would be hard. Yeah. To, like, have to give We should get her on daughter. the phone and get her side of the story. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Why is Ella not I here? Know. <laughs> Wait, so is Ella the one at Utah, Utah State? State? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, so she's an art major. She wants to be like an illustrator for books or storyboard artists for movies. Like that's awesome. her passion is storytelling. Get her over at Disney. Yes. <laughs> well, we've, we love that. We've been on the, the tour at Disney because we had a friend that was a so illustrator fun. there. So that's, that's the dream. Okay. So, so you're doing this. Far away from each other. Yeah. Because you're in Northern California. I'm in Southern California. You're in Southern California. I'm in near Disneyland. Okay. So you're in Southern California. I think I knew that. Why did I say Northern? Yeah. Well, I grew up there. Okay. Yeah. Um, so Amanda's in Southern. And, and your Alice, daughter's here. Yeah. And so how are you guys working? So we um, just screenshot back and forth. We're, I'm not big into Marco Polo. Everyone is. I know. Sorry. Um, and then I'm we just, big into Marco Polo. We just FaceTime a lot. Okay. And then she'll show me stuff and I'll be like, yeah, let's switch this. And then I'll be like, here's the color palette I'm thinking. And then I'll text her, you know, colors. And so we just go And it and works forth. pretty well. Yeah. And are you primarily choosing the colors? Um, we both kind of have ideas, but I'll kind of guide the color because I know if I'm the one that has to make all the quilts and mm -hmm. market all the fabric. I'm not going to use colors I don't like. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Well, and your name's on it. Right. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. So we kind of decide. Okay, so how long, like, how long from start to finish when you're working online? Now, mm -hmm. this doesn't disclude the fact that any, like, fabric manufacturer you work with, very many times, like, you'll send in a line that gets rejected. Yeah. Right? And even, so, even if you've been, I've been with Riley Blake for 14 long years. Time. A yeah. long, long time. I still have fabric lines rejected, you guys. Yeah. And we turned in one last May, June, and we went back and forth, and it just never, it's still it, in pieces. It didn't work. It never got off the ground. We switched and went to something else. Yeah. And that's hard because every time, Riley Blake is so good to work with, and they're so nice, and they never say anything, but, you know, bad or hurtful. But as a designer, you're sending in something you've worked hard on, and you're just like, I hope they like it. <laughs> fingers crossed. I know. You are fingers crossed the whole time. Yeah. For me, it's more like, because I, if I know they'll eventually take a line, right. it's like more like, oh my gosh, how many hours? So that yeah. was my question. How many hours does it take you and Ella to get a line together and it's a then long turn time. it in? It takes a long couple time. couple of months? Yeah. A couple of months? Yeah. yeah. So because I was thinking the two person. so I... I'm designing by myself, right? Mm -hmm. And I can't just even get around to my darn line. Right. I have to go shut myself up, <laughs> up somewhere. Videos. Um, and so, like, for you to have to go back and forth, mm -hmm. I would assume, like, that takes some time. Because it's like when one person has time to actually right. draw it and one person has to choose the colors and then you're right. going back and forth. Yeah, it takes some time. And then Riley Blake is really good because they won't just flat out reject something. They'll offer suggestions. This isn't going to work because they know their company way better than I do. They know what's going to sell and what people out there want. And so we'll go back and forth with them and change things and scale or size or add or take out a, a print. And that takes time too. Yeah. So, well, do you have this problem? Cause once in a while I'll send in a line. I'll even also send in multiple logos for a line. I don't know if you oh. do this. I'll send multiple logos for a line. Um, I, this happened with my line, So Ruby, which is a red mm -hmm. and white line. And I sent in like three logos and they had accepted the line and I actually had no idea what the name of the line was. Like, cause they chose, like I just sent them all the artwork and they, right, chose. And they chose. And then like a few months later I was like, so what, are we called what is the line? <laughs> like what is actually the name of the line? You probably don't do that. You're probably more uh, specific. Yeah. I usually, well, I've only have two and one in the works. So three, we've, I think we've just just agreed on the name of the collection okay from the beginning well and you're so themey yes. I bet it was easier yeah. like I love all your cat name like yeah. meow like it's just fun like you can do that whereas sometimes I'm sometimes all the time I'm doing a floral line it's like making up stuff right right I'm kind of jealous of you for that no florals over here I love florals but maybe one day Amanda yes 
Just tell Ella. Okay. Tell Ella she you want to floral. She hates floral. She's oh. like, don't make me draw floral. I'm like, <laughs> I feel like so many people, like, Karina is so good at florals. I don't want to, I don't need to jump into that. It's already so There's good. lots of room for florals. I think anyone who does fabric knows that. But There's now like I feel like if floral. anyone, if anyone does the cat line, like, Riley Blake has the cat line coming out with another designer, and I'm like, oh, oh I'm the only cat person they like. No. <laughs> There's the only cat lady. <laughs> We're stepping up. Oh, maybe you could collaborate with someone, and you know what? You need a, a dog person. Well, in our next collection, we're submitting there is there's there's a dog. A dog. Mm-hmm. So you're like all the pet people trying to trying, trying to, re- to yes. reach a few more. Yes, I like it. It's really good. Okay, um, Amanda, tell everyone where they can find you. Sure, I am Jedi Craft Girl on Instagram. So if you go there, you can click on my link and find my blog and my Etsy shop and posts I've recently done, anything anything like that, and pictures of Mufasa. And you guys are going to love it because her Instagram feed is so very, very fun. Oh. The other last thing you guys need to know about is that there is a YouTube video exclusive with Amanda that we do that is just her quilts. We're doing like a trunk show. It's mm-hmm. already on YouTube, so make sure and go check that out, and we will see you soon. Thanks. Hey, did you know that you can visit me at makeanddesign.com to learn more about this podcast and join my VIP group for weekly freebies? I can't wait to see you there.